Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reduce the likelihood of a successful brute force attack on your website by moving the default login page. So by default, the login page is at wp-login.php or wp-admin is another way people commonly access it. And we're going to move the login page away from there. And brute forcers who usually use automated bots that look for those pages will just move on to the next WordPress site that has that page because yours will just show an error message. So let me show you what I mean exactly. If I go to wp-login.php, we see a login page. And if I go to wp-admin, we see the exact same login page. We're just redirected to it, but people commonly use wp-admin to get to the login page as well. So we're going to install a plugin called move login to change this functionality. So let's go over to my other browser where we'll install the plugin and I'll show you the results of what that plugin will now show people who try to access the old pages. So here we are in the WordPress dashboard and we're going to install the move login plugin. So we have to go to plugins on the left and click on add new. In the search bar, we type in move login. And it's the very first option that we see by Gregory Viguri. Click on install now. And then activate that plugin. And now under settings, there's a new entry called move login. Click on that. And it shows default settings already in there. So the new login page is now going to be whatever your website is forward slash login, not wp-login.php. I know login is a very logical name for a login page and hackers that know about this plugin will probably start automatically looking for the defaults that this plugin installs, thinking that people won't change those defaults. But you could go ahead and call this whatever you want. You could have a bunch of random letters as your login page. You just have to remember it so you can find a login page when you have to log in. But the point is you can make it very difficult to find the login page. You could even use a a word like bulldozer. A hacker is never going to put bulldozer in an automated bot that's searching for a login page. So you can go through and you can change each of these to whatever you like. And then down below, when people try to access wp-login.php, we can choose what they're shown. I like to show them the 404 page not found error. And for the administration area, so this is when they type in wp-admin. I also like to show the page not found error, but you can choose any of these settings that you like. Then I click on save changes. And if you're a more advanced user, it actually shows you down below what the HT access code is that they're inserting. So you can just copy and paste this code into your HT access file and then delete this plugin. So then you have one less plugin to worry about on your site, which as you know, too many plugins can lead to either plugin conflicts or security vulnerabilities when plugin updates aren't made in a timely manner. Now that we've made those changes, let's go back to our other browser and I will show you what the result is. Now when we go to the wp-login.php page, we are shown the 404 error page. So yours will probably look different because you'll be using a different theme or to be the Aveda theme with a page actually set up. But the point is they go to a 404 error page. And if they type in WP admin to get to the login page, same thing, 404. And now if you, the website owner, go to forward slash bulldozer, which is what we set as our login page, we now see the login page here and no longer at the default locations. So all the brute force attackers that are using automated bots to find login pages and guess passwords, they will no longer be able to find your login page. So if they can't find your login page, they can't try to guess your password. So in this video, we learned how to move the login page to a different URL. And I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Make sure you like this video if it helps you. Check out our social media feeds and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. I'll talk to you soon.